it's pretty fun, you know, it brings back a lot of memories of riding the two-stroke. The bike's super light, and you really notice that on, like, trying to stay low and just kind of around the corners. Uh, they're not, they're not lightning fast, although this bike runs super good, thanks so fast. And uh, handling was good, I mean, I would like to dial it, the suspension in a bit, but, uh, you know, the, what, what you notice most is you don't feel the inertia, like on braking. The bike just kind of free rolls in corners and then you can like lay it down like the agility of the bike is really really fun uh, i guess what you call it maybe like flickable you know you can just move it around a lot and uh when you jump on this bike versus a 450 you know in the corners you, the bike will go kind of where you want it to go instead of like you have to fight it or force it because of the inertia and uh, that that made it really fun to ride you can kind of, you can do a lot of movement on these bikes and feel pretty safe, you know? I think if you override a 450, sometimes you feel like, man, you're taking a huge risk, you know, you're sideways. And I mean, I know I've crashed hard doing that. You know, also with the two-stroke, as light as it feels and, you know, I wouldn't say slow, but as, as fast as it is, you can feel like you can ride hard and it doesn't make you tired. So uh, that part was really fun. Those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed. The bitterness of men fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass, and dictators die. And the power they took from the people will return. I mean, the 450 is so good, but I think everyone might be a little tired of, I don't know, maybe looking for a new challenge or something different. I mean, you know how it is. Like, right now, two strokes are kind of, uh, kind of a hit because they aren't everywhere. It's hard to find them. And it's pretty unique when you show up with one. So I think that's part of the craze. I know a lot of the pro riders are, like, getting them and riding them and having, having a lot of fun with them. So, uh, I enjoy it. I mean, I definitely miss the smell. Dude, I think you got a wheelie because your front end might stick. For me, the two-stroke is near and dear to my heart, right? I mean, that's where all my success was and 
Uh, I think, you know, some of the ability to learn things gets lost in a 450, you know, big bike, because it, in some ways it makes it a little easier. Obviously, you need to be a little stronger probably, maybe more fit now to ride a 450. Uh, but some of the techniques and things you learn with a two-stroke are kind of gone. And uh, I suppose you can learn those things on a 250F, but 450, some of the, maybe say the beginning riders or the C riders or B riders, they, they lose a little of that because of riding such a big bike. and some of the little things you need to get out of a corner you don't need to worry about on a 450 because you have so much power. So do I miss it? Well, yeah, I mean, I, I had so much fun riding that 250 today, two-stroke. Uh, yeah, it's, it's fun, but, you know, at the same time, I wish we could all have them. So I think the whole motocross world is missing the fun of a two-stroke. And I think you're seeing a bit of a revolution. You know, guys are building them and coming out and riding them, and so you're seeing a lot more nowadays. But... Uh, you know, if we could only turn back time, that'd be pretty cool. <laughs> I'm Jeremy McGrath, and I think I like my pre-mix at 38 to 1, because I like them crisp. <laughs>